A holiday dedicated to the achievements of the labor movement and American workers, and of course, some are working today. News 8's Stephanie Simone found some didn't mind making a little extra cash. Stephanie. Erin, Sonia, of course, some of that cloudy weather almost appropriate for some of us stuck having to work the holiday. But we found some smiles brightening up the holiday turned work day. The campers leave Ham and Ass at Bee State Park. Yeah. And right behind them are park employees tidying up. A boss called us into work, so we said, yeah, sure. It's kind of depressing in a way because everybody leaves and it becomes a ghost town because there's nobody here anymore. It's tough work sweeping bathroom stalls and scrubbing sinks. It's pretty cool. All the campers are packing out and everything, so we're just cleaning up. Down the street at Lenny and Joe's in Madison, they've got more than 50 frying up a fresh catch and helping fill stomachs. 60, two trains. It's fun, you know, it's the last hurrah of the summertime, so it's, it's, you know, bittersweet. It's always fun to work here, so I don't mind it at all. But if you didn't see Allie today, you'll miss her. She's off to college, a reason why she says it's a bonus working the holiday. Oh, that's totally helped me save up. School in Boston's really expensive, so it's awesome. Plus, she says it can be busy, everyone wanting one last taste of the season. A nice hot lobster roll, some fresh clam chowder. You know, it's a nice way to kick, you know, end the summer. It sounds like a perfect way to end the summer. And just a little bit of history for you. Connecticut actually celebrated Labor Day back in 1889, the first time they celebrated it. And that was five years before it became a federal holiday. Live in the newsroom, Stephanie Simone, News 8.